Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Dowie Let's Play as Belagar Ironhammer and Clan Angrand. Um, now we are just getting ready for our second Vampire War, so the vampires are crawling across land, so they're all over here, through here, up and around here, so they're, they're probably... Me and the dwarves make a nice solid block here. Um, but the, you know, but the vampires are very powerful at the moment, so I have decided it is time, and, and down here actually, they're cr cr you know, sort of kind of creeping in, so I've decided the time has come to take them on. Certainly the vampire's up here, and, uh, save the empire, guys. So, uh, you know, we are going to, uh, get ready, we're bringing up our second army, and we're going to start this war soon. Um, we're actually at an end turn at the moment, so let's just get that going. Now, I am potentially going to lose a little settlement here. But we are building up another little defensive army, actually, so I might send them over. Oh, we can't afford to do that at the moment. Um, so we might send a little defensive army over just to offer a little bit of extra support um, to these to these realms here. And we can always... I'm going to try and jump over and grab... And, uh, grab uh, here as well. Um, I can't remember what it's called. The uh, place which the Beastmen have just taken out there. Uh, just to get ourselves into position. You see the Dwarves are pushing against the Vampires here as well. And what I, I actually don't really necessarily want the Dwarves to do too well there. I ideally want to be taking these settlements, but I might not get the opportunity to. So, um, <clears throat> so no, we're going to recapture here if we can. And then we're going to... Uh, keep an eye on the Skaven because I do not trust the Skaven and having a, a defensive force at home would be a good idea oh and there does appear to be a little uprising up here against the vampires so uh you know, all these little things help but I do think the vampire war is going to be a long and brutal one I'm not going to be declaring direct well I'll see who their allies are if they've got any because ideally what I want to do is I don't want to go directly to war with them. What I want to do is I want to go to, is I want to uh, start a small, you know, sorry, I want to just go to war with them. So we might join somebody else's war to start with. Okay, they're leaving my lands, which is good. So yeah, Mirrodens, however I pronounce that, I'm going to, I'm actually going to jump over and capture there. Um... We're going to move slowly round because I want to try and capture here as well. But I want to get some troops into this army on the way as well. So to start with, we'll just start uh, throwing a few troops in there. How are these guys doing up here? They're good. We've got a <coughs> temporary peace treaty with Grimgor. Um, you know, he obviously doesn't like me and he's not going to start liking me anytime soon. So they're not raiding in my lands, but I wouldn't be surprised if they started raiding. Where is the edge of my border up here, actually? The thing here is I've got quite a bit of vampiric corruption, so my border is actually there. However, are we ready to start this, actually? My anger burns bright. My axe thirsts for war. Right, we're going to drop this off, which is going to lower our income by a little bit, so I can start building some walls here. And we're going to get some going up here too. But this is mostly going to be being held by our armies, actually. So these guys are going to be moving around. I may lose somewhere. The idea is just to keep everything moving, if I can, here as much as possible. Billy Iron Helmet. And we are going to bounce over here. Unless the, the uh, vampires are daft, they potentially realise what's about to happen to them. Okay, this guy is my explorer. He's just out and about exploring the world. Picking up things like, oh, that's very nice. That's a... Uh, how many turns? That's six turns. I also get an ancestor rune. But, uh, so 30 growth. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's a really nice buff, actually. And let's keep looking through. Of the realm. These guys How are getting more friendly think? with me. 
The reason I'm exploring the world is I would like to get some trade agreements. Right, let's, let's just have a look at the vampires. Who are they actually friendly with? What? So they do have a defensive alliance with the VAR, who are up here, who I don't really want to be going to war with, so... You summon me. Hmm. You Rule can come up here. For the wisdom of Valaya. Why do I have him? He was just grabbing settlements. In fact, we're going to charge him down the coast to try and grab here. The issue is I am going to start getting some negatives here. I do need to start building a... Uh, I need to get that in on the way if I can. That will uh, get here, so we'll try and get that next turn. And then it's going to be time to start the war, guys. <clears throat> Sorry about that. No, and then, so the Vampire War, well, the Empire are doing nice, and the Empire are expanding, and have just smashed one of their armies, so this is going to be the perfect time to join. Do not take Grom Peak from me. Oh, that is infuriating. To be there, I'm not massively upset if the Dwarfs get Grom Peak, I just would have preferred them not to. Um, do I trust those Dwarfs, those Orcs? They're probably just passing through my territory. Um, I can always turn around and smash them if needs be. Wow, that did not stay in Empire hands for long. And I think Karl Franz just got his butt kicked. So uh, we might need to make a quick move. I do not trust those beast men. As I said, the uh, Border Prince's lands are a bit ravaged at the moment. I could potentially do with getting a fully fledged army in there to deal with all the stuff going on. But at the moment, I can't afford to. So, and the... Uh, the Beastmen are what is causing the spread of chaos corruption there. Alright, so where are you guys going? Hmm. Um. Yes, I'll take that. They're very little. So it doesn't really do much to me. I still potentially have a trade agreement because I do have a border with them, but um, it's a tricky one. The Bone Glubbers tribe do seem to be sailing on now, so I'm, I'm not so fussed about them doing that. This will uh, get here in order just about, but I do need to keep an eye on it. Let's move around here, chuck a few more troops in here. Having a bit of an army in here will also help to bring this area into in order a bit more. So, um, ah, let's leave that one for now, actually. Okay, so Bretonia has been doing some confederating. And we're going to march straight down to Zofabar. This shall be done. I'm going. God damn, the dwarfs are... Wow. So yeah, the dwarfs are back here in force. Welcome, kid. Um, How are the high kid? Nope. I do love the way he just goes, nope. By um, the light of the lady, you ask for a boon. Speak. By my lady, oh, no. come on. You are yes, that's good. That'll buff my income up a little bit. Is it time? Let's see, for Mutton Wooten Bard, I don't necessarily want. Getting here would be good. Here's relatively safe. What? Well, I'm actually having some public order problems here now due to the corruption. Um, okay, I 
do potentially need to hold armies in this place. So we're not quite ready to jump yet, but we're getting there. Moving. Another dwarf faction for us to talk to. Honor to your ancestors. They right. get far more than that from me, from that than me, but you know. That's the way it is. This will help once I've got it. Uh, once I've got the bright stone mine completed next turn, that's going to be a nice big buff for us. You can move over into here. turn again. I do really want to get this war going, but it's it's timing it correctly for the best impact, especially as I'm going to be putting myself at risk doing it. I'm, I mean, I might not move those armies. I might just hold those armies there for the moment. The dwarfs are pulling back to an extent. I mean, I could always just go to war and straight out help the dwarfs there, but... I would also quite like to take those settlements myself. If the dwarfs don't... Right, that's perfect. So the dwarfs haven't hit Zufferberg. Zuffbar. Zufferberg. Why am I calling it Zufferberg? So I can actually hit there myself and throw myself at them. Now, I am going to get hit by various armies when they do that. But I can really cut into their centre. They have a lot of armies though, guys. So this, this war is risky. Um... You know, this war is not without risks, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try and, you know, I'm gonna be aggressive and where I can be, but I'm also gonna try and hold the defensive lines. There are a lot of people on my side, so they are, that is gonna help me a lot, but I don't, I can't afford to push, I can't afford to be too pushy, because I'm too pushy. If I overstretch, I will, you know, if I overstretch, that's it. I am sorry I'm not joining that war. Hmm. Where are you guys going? <coughs> so the Bone Clubbers are over there knocking places over actually, which does give me a little bit of... I could push over there, but I'm not going to be doing that too much at the moment. What did Grimgore do? He's sitting in ambush. For the wisdom of Valaya. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. I'm not gonna go next turn. Oh, I need to actually get some walls out up here, I think, is my next priority. What are my garrisons like? That's a reasonable garrison. Summon me if you dare. Alright. See, this place produce, pr gives us a strategic building. Yes. What's the garrison right there? Can I take it in a turn? Follow right, I will have this a military honor. alliance, and I will offer to join your war with the vampire counts. Sure enough. And we are now at war. We're in the second vampire war, guys. This one is not going to be as quick as the first one. Alright, question is, can I just do this anyway? Um, oh, that's good. Let's add that to some Because I could potentially win this battle without actually... I could potentially hit here now and win this battle. Um. Hmm. If leadership is ab above shattered. Yeah. So. It's a tricky one. 
these guys do do crumble and disintegrate. So uh, yeah. Because they may have reinforcements to send this way. And I don't... Yeah, they've got a big army here. So we're going to go straight in for this. It's a risky fight, but... Oh, I don't have a cannon here. Oh, God, I don't have... Why can't I even go for this? Where, what happened to my... I must have lost my cannon in the other battles. I had not realised that. Um, right, anyway... So, this is going to be a, a hard fight. I think I can win it. Um, we're going to rely heavily on my archers here. Because they do not have any ranged other than their magic users. And obviously I get get benefits from magic. So, uh, we're going to try and hammer their walls first. And retake Zuthbar. Uh, for the dwarfs, this ancient dwarven hold here. Um... I do love the maps in Warhammer 2. I love it with our lovely indoor lake here. If there is another mod I should start using at some point, which is the um, there is a really nice mod for. Well, we're going to go right at the edge. Uh, sorry, there is. A, anyway, as I was saying, there is a really, really nice mod for. Um, words are failing me. Um, for settlements and things, which gives you access to various settlements and things, which at some point we're going to do. Right, you guys can push forwards. Are they really not holding the walls particularly well? So we can clear these guys off the walls. I'm then free to shoot as well, which is quite nice. So we're going to target these guys first, clear them out. And you, Mr. Lord, are going to throw out a buff as soon as you can. But no, first of all, we're going to hit these guys, the Crypt Ghouls up here. And they will probably break quite quickly. Well, they won't break because vampire units don't break in that way. But they're going to burn down very quickly under this fire. I don't get this, why some of our units just move forward so far. Let's hit this unit. You guys can all move forwards a little bit. We're hammering that unit down. Let's hit this mage. <clears throat> She's the last person in this ta in this tower's radius, so if we can take her out. That's really going to help us. We are hitting her, just. Oh, they're charging out. Back, 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 back. And let's focus fire them. The rest of you guys can move forward. So I'm going to save some of my ranged fire for these guys when I need it. I get confused. This unit seems to go forward, really far forwards every time. It's a bit special, I think. So we've done nice damage to her. We're going to get back onto her. So my two lords are going to start hitting that get, uh, pounding on that gate. Because <coughs> actually I'd prefer to push through if I can. Though they do have Graveguard there, which are very solid infantry. Uh, but 
hit, being able to p push some units through there while some of ours hit the wall would be beneficial. Where is their actual lord? He's right back there, sensibly. She's not going to last much longer at this rate, which is good for me. Come on, break a killer if we can, actually. So she's gone. Let's hit these guys next. So that's taking that tower out of the equation. Why is this tower still working? Anyway, we're going to pepper all these guys on the wall a bit more before we push up and over. To be fair, we're probably going to ignore that gate. Oh, they can hit the gate too. Alright, let's go. For a buff out. But you guys and you guys can wait here to go through the gate. And everyone else can go up over the walls. You guys can reform, we can take you off fire at will for now. That's where I want to use you guys. On these guys as they come at us. So those Vara guys are going to be tricky. That's the gate gone. Hammer into there. We are hitting the walls now. You guys can start pulling in. The downside of charging up here is these guys do take a lot of, um, you know, they, 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 oh, no, they're still eager, but they are, are very tired straight away. Now what I really do want to do is get in a position where I can get some guys around the back of here as quickly as I can. It's nice actually, we're doing very nicely here. Burning through these guys, we're going to start breaking a lot of these guys quite quickly, actually, which is good. These guys are a little overwhelmed over here, but. There's nothing I can fix. Let's pop these guys back on fire at will, move them up. Let's throw out a buff as well. Ready to fight. Let's focus on these guys first, if I can get them these guys broken through actually that would be really powerful pulling my slayers out because I want them saved for large units let's throw another fireball out into these guys Perfect. They can form behind and throw things at them then. God, they really just slammed a hole through there. I will have vengeance. Move now. Understood. 
That's really good because they're just going to hammer, just start throwing explosives at these guys. Which is going to shatter them. Right, they're crumbling on the walls, literally. Pretty much out of archers, which is going to be this is going to be an tr interesting fight, but you know. Miners. My miners are nearly gone. Right, you guys can just charge in there, so we're hitting them from both sides. These guys are holding valiantly. They do fire damage as well, which actually probably helps against a lot of these, but not those ones. And considering these are all units which produce fear, guys, I think my guys are doing nicely, right? You guys can actually charge up onto the wall. Yeah, you can keep charging up here. Right, let's give these guys support up here. All of these units are crumbling now. They're not, but all of these other units are. Which means they're pretty much ready to go. And it's going to be pushing into here now. We've got a lot of monstrous units over here, so that's going to be trickier. But I'm in a very good state to take them, actually. So, uh, it's these guys who are going to be the tricky bit. And even here, you can see they're all starting to, uh, they will all be crumbling now. This is an order. It's my uh, horde of dwarves charges along the wall here. It pretty much ignoring these guys who are just crumbling at them. They're pretty much all crumbling now as they go down here. Dwarfs are fighting well, my uh, iron breakers are in oh no, they're the dwarf warriors with flaming axes. They are going in nicely there. And my uh Thane there as well. And they're still not coming. So if these guys had come in at this point, they'd be so much I'd be in such a worse situation. It's flood out after them. And we're pretty much out of range now, so it's tricky. Ideally, actually, I don't want you guys getting too involved. We're going to charge them next. En masse. This is not subtlety, guys. This is just a mass dwarven charge now. These guys can all go back there, so if something major happens, I'm just going to break them off the field. Straight into these guys. Slayers aren't there. They really should be involved in that fight, but you know. These, uh, these crypt horrors, and they are bouncing my guys around. However, they are... No, these ones aren't flames. Some of them are flames to take extra damage from fire. I mean, obviously, fire's bad for them anyway. The ancestors watch. I can't believe these guys are still fighting. All four of them are left. Another unit coming in here. And again, they're just letting me do this, guys, which is really daft. Oh, again, you guys are meant to be back here. Sorry. So these critical horrors are, they're, 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 to be fair to them, they're, they're fighting. They're, they're not doing well. I'm not sure what's shooting stuff off the ground there. We've got some dwarves behind them. Now, 
They're going down now, they're crumbling. And they're gone. Now up here. And they've obviously got their necromancer up here, the vampire lord. Uh, Bernard Backman. Who's going to fall next? As this horde of dwarfs charges towards them, guys. So, uh. Let's just double time this for a second. I suspect sometime very soon those, uh, Varageists are going to come at me. Um. We'll deal with them when they come. They are going to be the hardest thing left to deal with here. Here comes the charge. And the Slayers are getting in there. Which is good because actually these are you large units. Hold it. Now we're going to hit all our units with my buffs. Now we are covered in these guys, so, uh... So it's a nice battle now. Let's get some of our other units a little bit more spread out on what we're actually hitting. Belagar can break forward and go for the Necromancer. Because if we can take that Necromancer out, actually. If we can take him out. If he can break through and take that Necromancer out. In fact. That will break all of these guys. Oh god, I forgot to send them in. Never mind, they can come around here. It's actually the Necromancer on his own is not that powerful. Um, however, getting through these guys is not going to be easy. Got a few dwarves through, and actually I say that, they're gone. Even he's gone. And he just disintegrated there. And that is it guys. That was a, uh, a close victory, but it means that if they come at me guys, I have these walls to sit behind, and I now have Zuffabar, which is a great Dwarven hold to be holding. Um, you know, that, that gives me a lot of extra oomph. Um, we are occupying this, because I don't want to be knocking it over while it's... Oh, maybe I should have just sacked it. Um... I thought Zuffabar gave us a... Oh no, it's here does. Right. We're going to hit Karagdomar next turn. My axe thirsts for war. I'm leaving. Master of Runecraft. You are going to double time to here. <coughs> here is getting there. This should help here out. Can I help you? I'm a little concerned about here. Wins control. Agreed. I've cast the runes. But we'll we'll see how that goes. Ooh. I can't quite get to that sea corpse, can I? Next turn we'll grab that and we'll start pushing out that way. Honor to your ancestors. Yes. That's good. A lot of other people should have started liking us a bit more now. Um that said, they're mostly confederating. Yes. Now my rune smith has leveled up. This is which one is this? That's this guy. Billy got iron helmet. 
This is the uh, engineer in with Belagar. I'm going to buff up his aura size. That's nice. Anyway, so I'm just going to buff up his aura because obviously, what are his battle effects? Obviously, having a big aura just gives my guys a little bit extra oomph. Well, gives them a little bit of extra leadership. I am expecting a, a fairly vicious pushback, guys. Um, <coughs> oh, and I need to. I want to do some some coordination with my allies. So uh, we're going to do some coordination, certainly with the Empire next turn, to tell them where to take. Um, I'm going to try and get them to get Reichland back. Um, unfortunately. I'm the front line here, so uh, this is where it could get tricky and we could have a few large, vicious battles. But um, if, I can, if I can hold the line... Can they go straight up to Zuffabar or do they have to go through Oakenhammer? I think they have to go through Oakenhammer actually, so that might help me. Oh, now the dwarfs being down there is actually... Oh God, how many armies are they, they fielding? This might have been more than I... I might have bitten off more than I can chew here, guys. Um, but I had to take the vampires on. Because, you know, the world is fighting the vampires now, so... Uh... Oh, and I'm relatively happy that even if they do manage to push me back in a few places, I can definitely, definitely hold the line. Um... It just might mean I end up having to work out somewhere else I want to expand. Um, unfortunately, I have suffered. I'm not as big as I should be at this stage. Um, I mean, the other thing I could have done is just let them keep fighting the dwarfs until the dwarfs were in a position where they'd have, they'd have confederated with me. But that just feels a cheap, like a bit of a cheap way to do it. Um, I would, however, like to get a confederation with the dwarfs down here when I can. Um, though they are a bit out of the way. Okay, we've got a grudge to wound or kill any character from the vampire counts. Does that include lords? Oh, that's a hinder reinforcements anyway. Onward! Try and wound her. Ooh, failure. Right, first things first. Ready. The clan demands war. For the wisdom of the layer. Summon me if you dare. It's nice. Move. And we are now going to sell. Oh, going to go straight for that skull Show reef for next turn. Let's start getting a wall up there. Yeah, they can just march straight up here, so I do want to be careful. However, it gives me a nice, solid uh, start. I want a wall here, but I can't afford it this turn, so that you know. Oh, I can't afford it. Don't actually get a wall there until I've leveled there up. Let's hit Karag Doma. Droma. That's a nice, easy auto for us. What is the special building you get here? Ah, this gets Bugman's Brewery, which is very nice. Minus 5% upkeep for Rangers, all units. Allows recruitment of Bugman's Rangers and uh, provides a garrison of it. So uh, that's a very nice uh, thing. And obviously it gives us a uh, uh, 100 kegs of dwarf beer, which is very, very nice. 
Um, Let us begin. Oh, I meant to swap the units around for them. Too late now. For the wisdom of the land. Hmm. So actually, I don't need the growth buildings here anymore. Untainted in public order there, I think. And what are you getting? Axe Lord. Oh. Time for a ten turn. Oh god, I've gone massively over on this one, guys. We're at 40 minutes now, so we're actually going to be ending this one at the end of this turn. We'll see what happens. Um, so far, this war has gone gone. Okay, I forgot to sell, get the Empire doing something again. But at the same time, while it's gone okay, I am... They have not really hit me in force yet. I fought one major battle in this war, and it was quite a tough little battle. They still have a lot of armies they can send my way. However, I've got a good, good solid place to get to fight them at, to hold the line at, um, at Zuthbar if needs be and they are going to come at me in force though but they are fighting other people in other places as well and the empire is pushing back so the empire has just taken essen um i do think that the uh, northern realms have dis has fall have fallen so um oh i forget what they're called but the northern realm realm has fallen i think already so um yeah so we've got everything to play for here with pushing out this way. Um, I'm going to try and get the um, Empire re-securing their homeland. And then, because I, ideally I want to take, take Sylvana, Sylvania. Uh, but again, it, it's a tricky one with what to do there. Um, I can just about afford to put another army out, full army out potentially as well. So we might start pushing out another army. Yeah. Ooh. I will take the negative to relations return. That skull reef is useful. Right, so we are going to start pushing out another army here. Hmm. Well, that's good. So we're going to use a rune lord for this. I'm never as much a fan of rune lords, I'm going to be honest. I just don't feel they're as, as solid as normal lords, but I like rangers. So it's, it's a bit of a mix, and I've gone down the ranger route. So, uh, you know, we, we're going to do that. Um, get Axe Lord to start with, because that's a fairly good, decent starting one. You building up your garrison, we've we'll taken here. Begin. Okay. Where has their hero gone? So I need a vampire hero, but their hero seems to have vanished. You summoned me. Aha! Kill. Never. Right, let's talk to the Empire Welcome, over here. Oldest friends of the Empire. Agreed. Definitely want to share military access with you. And right, let's give you guys. I want you guys to take here. What? Who calls? Is it time? Okay, they actually don't mind me being so, friends with these guys now, so... Approach his friend and make your offer. As you say, sir. Yeah, 
then they're, they're not insane. Uh, Alarios, okay. I am the defender of Ulf One. The last defenders are still alive down there somewhere. Hmm. Let's Ready? save dwarfs. Let's set a war coordination target for you guys. Let's set that. Ah, somewhere nowhere near me. Let's send you guys attacking up there. Or I could send you guys literally after Manfred von Karstein. Let's send you guys after the moot. You can level up. I've got some monies to spend here. Right. Hmm. That's an expensive building, but it's a very good building because it does allow me to produce iron breakers eventually. Um, also allows me to recruit another Fane. Um, iron breakers are exceptional, so actually. I'm going to hold here, and we're going to get the Hall of Oves in place, and we're going to get a Grom... 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 Words are failing me. Can I recruit a... I can recruit another Master Engineer. No, I can't yet. So I'm actually going to knock here. Oh. Ready. No, I can't recruit an organ gun yet. Um... So we're going to do a little bit of a change to this army, actually. We're going to get a cannon in here next turn, and then we're going to recruit another Master Engineer to go out to one of my other armies. Wisdom of Valaya. Which Lord is this? This guy, I really don't care about you. Um, you are just getting booted, actually, now. This province should be brought into order soonish. Here, still struggling actually, which is a little annoying. I would like to get this better, but I'm getting lots of chaos corruption spread. And I'm I'm being raided as well, which probably doesn't help, but I can't afford to deal with that. So the Empire are pushing, which is good. I want everybody pushing against the vampires, and this is the thing. While the vampires are strong and they are gonna lash out, I'm going to try and play this. I'm going to try and play this sensibly, guys. I'm going to do little attacks, little advances. I'm not going to do any grand sliding of armies across the map. You know, I'm going to do a masks. I don't have the forces to do that. So we're going to we're going to fight carefully. If they throw every, if they were to throw everything at my capital at once, they would probably take my capital. But I would just move in behind them and smash them. And they're not a player. They're not player characters, so the chances of them doing that are low. So I, hopefully, I'm going to manage to secure a nice extra chunk of territory in this war. But it needs to be done carefully because if I if I go too aggressive, I will just lose places. Um, I want another army out because another army will give me that extra bit of mobility I need. And they've just left Oakenhammer there, but they've moved back. They're just basically swapping armies around at the moment. I would like to take Oakenhammer, but I can't do that on my own. Um, again, the, the territories here are very close together, so it's a nice little chunk of territory to get. I do want the Empire to remain nice and powerful, because they are a nice buffer to the north for when the Chaos Hordes do eventually come. And I will end up quite a stretched Empire if I'm not careful. Um, again, Bretonia are good allies. This is the issue, is actually I'm surrounded by friendly nations here. Um, so it does make expanding a little tricky. So we'll have to see exactly how, where this goes. Um, and then we can uh, work on clearing this these lands of corruption. Gerard's Errantry Army. 
It's an interesting one. I'm not sure where they are. Wow, the dwarfs! How have the dwarfs got a territory right down there? Oh, they stole some of my technology. Uh, I can't do anything about them at the moment, to be fair. You can try and fulfill our grudge. I've got a feeling they're going to keep failing. See, I'm in a tricky situation here. I would love to be able to Time move. For a reckoning. But I can't. Move. They are leaving here. Quite undefended. But I don't think he's even got walls, so I don't necessarily actually want to take it. it is time. You're going to pull back and recoup. You are going to move up here and recruit Heading a few out. more people. If you say so, beardling. To battle. Right. Let us recruit a cannon. Hmm. I'd like to get a Gomrel Forge because then I can start rolling um, Iron Breakers into this army. But uh, an Iron Breakers are so a Gomrel Forge, which is going to take a while to get though. So that's not something to do now, but it is something to keep in mind for future here. Um, that probably means this was a bit of a waste actually. Because um, I can build that anywhere. So I could even do that here. And I can actually build this ranger building in another settlement if needs be. What's my public order like here actually? Plus eight. It's only plus eight. Oh wow, we're still getting sca extra scathe and corruption here. Wow. Right, we're going to drop this building here. And we're going to save up and we're going to go for the extra tech for reducing scale and corruption. Me if you dare. Forwards. I can't believe the scale and corruption is increasing again. That is kind of terrifying, actually. We're not building anything at the moment. I've just said that. Okay. Oh, God. Right. We're ending this one here, guys, because I said I was earlier, and I then got sidetracked, so, and I kept playing. So you've got a nice 50-minute episode here, guys. I do hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching, guys.